I'm essentially against almost every kind of um, drug being illegal uh, and people being yeah. punished for it because I think punishing, it's very easy to punish people who are hurting. No, no person does drugs. No person does heroin because to party or to feel good. They do it because they hurt and they do it because they, they need help and they're self-medicating. And so by punishing these people, we're kicking the people that are down. It's easy to do. And it makes some people feel really good about themselves punishing a drug user. But what those people really are doing is it's a call for help and they, they really need support and love and not um, to be kicked when they're down and to be punished and to lose whatever job they may have been barely holding on to and whatever support they had. Um, I, you know, I just think it's a whole systemic change and it's a, it's a perspective change that we need from our leaders to really um, say, you know, who the good guys are and who the bad guys are. You steal $300 million, you get a slap on the wrist, you steal, you know, a pack of cigarettes, you're going to jail and your whole life's ruined. And not that I encourage stealing anything from anyone. It's just, we don't have a society, that, a criminal justice system that really reflects justice. I mean, we could get into- And, and you the, know the, why though, right? Like you, you know that that has to do with um, money and profit and the fact that our criminal justice system is for profit, whether it's the policing for profit over militarization of the police, which benefits the military industrial complex, whether it's literal getting profits per person per night for incarceration, whether mm -hmm. it's using prison labor for, which is essentially slave labor. I mean, it's just, we, yeah. oh. we have a system where we so we gross. created so um, such a profit motive in doing it the way that you were just saying, like the, the profit motive is to incarcerate, not to help. And, and that's, that's a huge problem. I mean, I actually think we should let all the nonviolent drug offenders out of jail. And I think we should replace that with all the pharmaceutical executives um, that have been pushing um, opioids. So um, I'm actually uh, for incarceration of actual drug dealers and um, not the nonviolent drug offenders that we are normally yeah. referring to when we talk about who is a drug dealer, because you're right, that's kicking down. And that's something that we're very trained to do is kick down. And I am a big b believer in punching up. So um, that's, and that is, and, you know, and when we started drug laws in this country, I don't know how familiar you, you are with like where a lot of that came from, but it really was systemically to, to incarcerate black and brown bodies and to stifle the hippies. That was a huge part of it because, you know, what better way to um, incarcerate more black people than to criminalize behavior um, that we know will lead to incarceration, even though it's behavior that the rest of us really don't find criminal. Yeah, I mean, the, everything you said, I, I'm, I, I'm completely with, and I, I agree that the, the wrong people are in power and the wrong people are in jail. And the, I, I, I believe that the people putting these people in jail are the ones who should be held accountable and they should, they should have to suffer the same fate that they've been uh, putting on other people. And it's just, there's such an arrogance um, towards it and such a, like you, you see how ICE treats our immigrants. They treat them like it's a, uh, you know, they if they catch a catch an illegal immigrant, it's like getting a home run. Oh, we got one! Yay! Look at us, we did it. And it's they don't see that person as a human with a family with kids who probably you know would have held the door open for them as they're walking into the fast food joint. Who like is just we're all we're all the same, and they they use these tactics to divide people into criminals and not criminals. Oh well, he he broke the law. And then he violated his parole by smoking marijuana. Let's stick him back in jail for six more months away from his family, away from the job that he worked, struggled so hard to get. And then when he gets out, we can't give him a job. I mean, you know, like the firefighters in California who are prisoners getting paid $3 a day, that when they get out, even though they're all trained as firefighters, they can't get a job. I mean, it, it, is, it is slavery. I, I was driving to Jacksonville, Florida the other day through the heart of Florida. So um, I didn't take, I didn't go through like Orlando and Daytona and up. I kind of cut through the middle there and I see businesses closed, dilapidated towns. And then I see on the side of the road, cleaning up trash prisoners. And it made me so, it was so gross to me to see these people being exploited and it just, my heart hurt. And it just, that's one of the reasons I'm active in politics because there's people who can't stand up for themselves. They can't fight back because they're, they're wedged in. And what are they going to do? Break, break out from prison. You can't, you can't do that. They need people like us to stand up for them and let them free. I mean, we have states in the U.S. where cannabis is legal and we have and like so Illinois, 
people in Illinois can grow, buy, sell cannabis. They look across the river to Missouri. There's people incarcerated for the same thing. I mean, it's absolute madness. And to incarcerate someone for this, it, to lock them in a jail cell is, is cold hearted. It's, it's not a solution. If, if you think the use is a problem, that the incarceration is not a solution to the use. You know, we, we would look to improve people's quality of life so they don't use drugs of despair and, and these, these problems that are more related to the situation people are born into than how they handle their problems. But yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of work to be done, you know, on so many different fronts, but, but I really believe that we can make, that we can do the good quickly.